Hey everybody, now that you have your Champ software set up and installed, and you got a green light for Apache and a green light for MySQL, you've changed your configuration settings here, you've changed your database password, and you've got all that all set up, you're now ready to get PHP set up so that you can use it and write PHP code on your local machine. Now, if this thing on the screen here you, doesn't look familiar, you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you missed a video, so make sure you go back and watch the other video first, and then once you've installed Champ, come back here and we can move on. So this is for my 2440 students. This is not for the database students. This is a video for just the CSIS 2440 or anybody who wants to just have PHP installed on their local machine so they can write PHP code. So anytime you have server software on a computer, if you're actually sitting at that computer or you have code or a process running on that computer, you can actually access the default web page by using its IP address. And it's, it's a local IP address and it's the same pretty much every for every single server unless you've changed some sort of weird setting. And so if we go to a browser here and we type it in, it's 127.0.0.1. That is your local Page. This is an actual page here, a web page that is on my local machine, not on the internet. Now, obviously, typing in 127.0.0.1 is kind of a pain in the butt, but we have a URL that also goes with it, and this is just the default behavior again, and that is called local host. If you type that in, again, you see it goes to the same place as 127.0.0.0.1 or 001 goes, right? So localhost. Now, notice here that localhost is redirected to localhost slash dashboard. We'll talk about what's going on there in just a couple of minutes. But because you're 2440 students and you hopefully you have uh, some good understanding of 1430, hopefully you've taken that class at this point, because you know a little bit about this, you know that if somebody goes to a URL, www.whatever.com, what really happens is that server looks in the public underscore HTML folder or in the htdocs folder, depending on what kind of server you have and how the settings are set up. But it looks in that folder for the default file, which is called index.html, right? So that's exactly what's happening here. We're inside of this dashboard folder and it's there is a file called index.html. If I go to it, nothing changes because it's the exact same thing. Anytime you look in a folder, if there's an index.html file in there, it will display it. So you can see that those are exactly the same. Now you can also put an index.php file in there. And if there's a, a .html, an index.html, and an index.php, it will actually default to the PHP one and the .html one gets ignored. We're gonna learn how to do that in just a minute. But I want to make sure we have this basic reminder that localhost is the name of the URL of this site that we're looking at right here on our local machine. So when we go to localhost, what is it doing? It actually looks for the public HTML folder. Or in our case, it's not public HTML, it's called htdocs. So it looks for that and whatever's in there, that is the root of our site. So let's take a look at that. We go into, hit window E, that opens up Explorer, go to the C drive, go into the Champ folder, and then scroll down to the htdocs folder right here. Inside of here, there is the index.php file. That is that index.php file. If I were to edit it right now, you're not going to necessarily understand the code at the moment. Don't worry about that. But this is a PHP file. And this is basically saying that it's going to redirect to the dashboard page, right? So I'm going to quickly change this. I'm going to cut it out of here. And I'm going to put some plain HTML. You are allowed to put plain HTML inside of a PHP file. So I'm just going to say hello. I'm not even going to put some tags around it, right? It's poor practice here. Sorry, guys. But there, I'm going to put hello there, and I've overwritten that .php file. Now, if I come back here to localhost, it's not going to redirect the dashboard. It's going to say hello. 
Now, your options are you can do this exactly how I've done it and make this your new home page that says, hello, this is my home page, but nobody's going to see it because it's just on your local machine. So I'm going to leave that there because I like the fact that it does redirect to the dashboard here. And now this has a link to PHP My Admin, so I can easily get in there if I need to. It has links to frequently asked questions and other things about Perl and PHP and so forth. So I like having that as my default, all right? But notice that is the HT docs. If you're used to servers that have public underscore HTML, this is the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. All right, so there's a folder for images, there's the dashboard. So what we wanna do moving forward is any project we build in this PHP class is gonna go right here in the HT docs right inside of Champ, inside of htdocs. So I right click on here and I do new and I type folder and I'm gonna say, oh, I don't know what project this is gonna be, palindromes. That's one we're actually gonna do in this class. So palindromes, and then I'm gonna open up a new file here and I'm gonna say, and this would be regular HTML or PHP code. I'm not gonna bother with that at the moment. Welcome to palindrome. I save this and again I need to make sure I navigate to the C drive then the champ and then to HT docs and then to palindromes and in there is index.php I save it and I go here to localhost slash palindromes and there we go welcome to palindromes so now just to prove the point that this actually is a PHP file here, I'm gonna write some PHP code that you may not understand, but that's fine. But I'm gonna say echo h1, hello palindrome. And close that out. And here we go. Now, whoops. What this will do is actually spit out raw HTML that says hello palindromes inside of an H1 tag. So save it, refresh it, and hello palindrome. And if I look at the code, that's all it did. It just spit that raw out. Now, this is not a PHP lesson right now. We're gonna learn all about this later, but I wanted to make sure you have the basic idea of how to run a file that's got PHP code on it. And as long as you stick it inside of your htdocs folder right there, each of your new projects will go right here. Palindromes and whatever other ones we're going to do, they're going to go right here. And then when you are done and you want to make them go live, you're going to go to your server. And if your server has public HTML, well, then you just drag palindromes from your htdocs here to public HTML. If it doesn't have public HTML and has htdocs, then you just drag the palindromes to the htdocs. Either way, your folder structure will match up so that whatever's in the HT docs, except for this default stuff that comes with Champ, you can ignore all that stuff. But everything else, you wanna drag it up to your server. So that's it with setting up your PHP. You're ready to go. You can write PHP code now anytime you want. And believe me, you'll be writing plenty of PHP code. So you're all set now. But I just wanna point out a couple quick little things here. With this, if I were to take Champ here and click the close button, it doesn't really close it. It just minimizes it and hides it down here in the little window here. As long as that's there, if you click on it, right click on it that is, make sure Apache and MySQL are, are green there. As long as that's the case, then your local host will work just fine. If I just go there again, local host, and you'll be able to go there no problem, right? Now, when you reboot your machine or sometimes other situations will cause this to shut down, if you go here and these happen to get turned off, so stop that, and we'll stop this. All right, so now those are both stopped and I'm also gonna close this, All right? If that happens to be closed because you've rebooted your machine or whatever, if you go and try to go now to localhost, it will not work because your PHP server is not running. And you see it's spinning and spinning and then it just times out, right? Because PHP is not running or Apache is not running is what I should say. But because Apache is not running, you can't go there. So 
make sure before you write any PHP code or when you come to class or when you're doing any homework or whatever that you set up your, you turn on your champ, right? Now the way you turn on champ is kind of a little bit of a pain, but I'm going to show you an easy way around it. But you can't find it on your start menu. So what we need to do is go to Windows Explorer, which as you know is Window E. Then once you hit Window E, scroll down to the C drive, go into Champ or wherever you installed it. And maybe it's not directly on the C drive, but that's the default, it should be there. And inside of Champ, if you scroll down, you'll see Champ Control. That's the one we want. Well, if you right click on that, you can just double click that and it, bam, it launches everything. But if you right click on it and then go up here to pin to start, now it's going to pin it to my start menu right there. And now if I just click on that every time, that will launch Champ and those will automatically turn on because we set them to do so earlier. So now anytime I want to launch Champ, all I got to do is come right here and click it. Notice though, I just clicked it. Now I have two instances open. So be careful when you do that. Make sure that you don't have it already running. So I'm just gonna close it from here, but it's still running in the background. And now that it's running, I can just simply go here to localhost and I can see everything now. So that's it. You've got everything set up that you need to be able to do PHP code, and eventually in the PHP class, we're going to learn about database and connecting our PHP code to a database, and you, you're all set, ready to do that as well. Just haven't taught you the commands and everything or the code, but as far as having it set and able to accept those commands, that's all done. So you're ready to go. So I'll see you all in class or in a video online.